my name is Lisa Malvena, and I am the head of Youth and YA Services at the Clinton Macomb Public Library. This next recipe I'm gonna show you is one that I've seen often on Pinterest, and I've been really intrigued. I love Pinterest for early childhood activities and looking for things that we do at the library. Today's activity is called sidewalk chalk paint. And I thought this would be a great activity as it's starting to get nice out and a lot of people are stuck at home. It also uses ingredients that I have right here in my house. So I will need a muffin tin. If you end up doing it a lot, I recommend going to the dollar store and getting like a muffin tin that you could dedicate just to sidewalk chalk. I have one cup of water and you'll notice I put it in a two cup container because when we start mixing, I'm gonna dump my ingredients into this container and that will give us room. I have one cup of cornstarch. I'll admit, I tend to use cornstarch once a year for, Christ or for Thanksgiving baking and making gravy, but this is my one cup of cornstarch. And I have food coloring. If you have a hard time finding food coloring or you don't have it at home, the place that I often am able to find it on the shelf is at Kroger. It's one of the few places in the area to get normal sized food coloring. And then just around, I have my old box of toothpicks because that will help me mix my paints as I put them in the container. So I'm gonna start with my one cup of water and I'm going to add slowly so it doesn't make a mess, which I am prone to do. Um, my one cup of cornstarch. And you'll see if you're watching, I don't know if it's coming through on the video, you are getting a little bit of a cornstarch cloud here, similar to if I were using um, flour. And I'm gonna take my little spatula and see if I can get any more out. And so that's my ingredients in the container. I'm going to mix it until the cornstarch and the water form a liquid. Right now it's really glumpy. Um, cornstarch takes a while for it to dissolve. It does end up looking a little bit like milk. Oh, there we go, that was pretty fast. So as you can see, I have a very smooth container. And I am going to slowly pour it into my muffin tin. My muffin tin is going to form my artist palette when I go outside in just a couple of minutes. So maybe don't use a jumbo muffin tin. I got about three and a half containers full with my one cup and one cup of cornstarch and water, or I might need a double recipe in the future, but I did run out of cornstarch, so I can't do that. So now I'm going to need my toothpicks and my food coloring. And I am going to add a couple drops of my food coloring into each container. And I'm gonna stir it with my toothpick. If I don't like the color, I can add a little bit more tooth or food coloring to form my color. This is a pretty strong red, I like that. Okay, we're gonna add some blue. And I'm only adding like three to five drops of food coloring to make these bright colors. You don't need a lot. The other thing that the recipe recommends is that you take a couple of toothpicks with you outside when you're ready to paint because as you can see a little bit, my paint is starting to settle. I don't know if you can see. My paint's starting to settle and it's becoming a little bit swirly as it's mixing apart. So I wanna give it one last remix right before I'm about to paint. Oh, I really like how the yellow turned out. It's a nice bright gold, like the sun. And if you're working with kids at home and you only have one pack of food coloring, 
You are able to do some color mixing like we used to do in school. So red and blue together would make some purple. Blue and yellow together would make some green. And yellow and red together would make some orange. Well, my green is super dark. Now my next step is we're gonna take this outside and I'm going to show you how we're gonna paint with it and how bright it looks. Now, if you are somebody who is concerned about your cement and you have really fancy stuff, I'm gonna ask that you spot check it first. While the directions say that rain or a hose will wash it up, it's just better to make sure before you try it. So join me outside and we'll test this out. Hi friends. This is Miss Lisa again, and I am here to show you a little bit of what the sidewalk chalk paint looks like outside. Now it looks super cool inside, and I have stirred it one more time with my toothpicks, and I grabbed some of my cheapo paint brushes and sponge brushes, and I am set up outside in my driveway. Now when I go to paint, it is still very liquidy. It works just like water with a color. and I'll put it on outside. I've had the best luck with my blue so far as I'm making my ocean, but I did make a sunshine over here. Wonder if it shows up well on my sidewalk. It looks like that it shows up real liquidy while you're painting with it, but as it starts to dry, the chalk is starting to come out. Right now I'm here working on my ocean. So I have my fish and my water as I go. Thank you for joining me today.